Well, hello everyone and welcome back here to Don't Starve. I thought we'd start today's episode with a little bit of, uh, not that one, a little bit of grave robbing. So we're going to go come down here to this area here, see if we can get ourselves some gems and other nice bits and pieces. So, as fortunately we've got a lot of uh, sanity at the moment. Uh, we can get away with a desiccated tentacle. I've never seen that one before. Yeah, we can get away with a little bit of grave robbing. And then we'll make ourselves... Hello. Right, looks like we're going to have to run away from this while doing it. Ball and cup. Right, we've already dug those up. Living root. Okay, that's a new one for me. Okay, let's get out of here. I was hoping to get uh, a blue gem as well. That would have been really useful for us. But we've got what we got. We can go back and get some more later on. So I think he's that ghost to stop chasing us now. So we should be safe. Let's get back to base. Have something to eat. Plant our new stuffs and uh, plan where we're going from there. Right, this is the right grassland. We unfortunately still haven't found the beefalo. We could use those, but that's not the end of the world. We have so much in the way of rabbit holes and things like that. So that's uh, that's going to help us an awful lot at the start. Okay, so let's store that living root. What does it say about it? It whispers beautiful lies to me. Okay, so... Um, okay, that's probably something we can trade with the uh, pig king for gold later on. Oh, we need that at the moment. Okay, so open the ice box. Okay, and let's store some food in there. So what we got here, we got that, we got that. Unfortunately, that's pretty much all we got, but... Loads of stuff in the traps. So let's just do a quick run around those. Got to be to make ourselves a new trap soon. Because these are starting to wear out. It's a horrible sound when that they die, but uh, unfortunately, it's them or us. And you know what? I'm all for us. Oh, excellent. We have some rot. So let's grab that quickly. And that's dried. Excellent. So let's set another one to dry, like that. Okay, and let's use this rot start getting some of these bushes to live. Like that. And get some more of these bushes out. Like this. Okay, and we've got a few more pieces of rot, so let's make use of those straight away. Where did I put it? There. Fertilize that one, fertilize that one. Let's get the map the right way around. And let's go and check some traps. Like this. Any more down here? I don't think we do. Nope, doesn't look like we do. Right, but we should place some more. So. The 
course the problem here is that the more traps you have, the more time of the day you spend checking them. Um. Oh, you know it. Like this, the day is over. Okay, so... Let's make ourselves a trap. That one was set off without uh, catching anything. Let's see, let's put that one up there. There we go. Grab the shovel on the way past. No, it's not equip it. Getting really hungry, so let's go and do something about that. So, harvest crock pot, eat that. Right, open that door, open that up. Uh, stick a carrot in there. Make ourselves our next meal. The jerky can go in there as well. Excellent, okay. I believe we have enough materials. Yep, we have enough materials to make ourselves another drying rack. Let's put that there. Right, these things need to be dug up because they're in the way. Okay, close. I'll put those down when it gets light. Let's get ourselves some meat drying. There we go. Store that. Yeah, we're still not doing great for food, to be honest with you, but it's looking better and better. I don't believe it. How could I have done that? How could I have done that? Right, well, that's us pretty hurt, but we'll deal with that later on. I just noticed it just as it was getting dark. I always, I always prepare a campfire, but I do, totally forgot. Okay, so our sanity's down and our hit points are down. And we can deal with these problems. Tomorrow we're going to need to go and get some more grass to make traps. But we're also going to need to go and get some more petals. We'll leave those to go down to rot. We're going to need to get some more petals to make ourselves. Um, stick some charcoal. There. there we go. We're going to need some petals to make ourselves um, a garland to uh, adjust our sanity problems. Okay, so let's get cracking, shall we? Alright, I don't think we've explored this grassland down here, so let's see what we can find down there. Grass, loads of grass, and some petals, and a carrot. If the carrots are good, right. we need 12 petals. Then I don't think we're going to have problems finding them by the looks of it, which is great. Where's my shovel. There it is. I have this as well. Some more flowers here. Eight. Another four, and we've done a good day's work, I think. Berry bushes. Those are going to be a real help to us once we get those fertilized. Where are we? Oh, I don't think we've been down here. 
hopefully this is where the beefalo roam. Okay, day 11. I'm actually getting fairly consistent with this game, which is slightly annoying. I can seem to get up to about day 30 in my private game without much in the way of trouble. But I tend not to last much longer after that. Suspicious dirt pile, not interested in that at the moment. Um, which is yeah, somewhat annoying me, to be honest with you. So, But then again, that is actually 10 episodes at three episodes a day, so that's not necessarily bad. Um, gives us a chance to uh, to try out different characters, perhaps. More flowers. I love the fact they give the pigs names. I just think that's great. Oh, more flowers. There we go, there's our 12 flowers. So... Grab us out a garland. There we go, and immediately our sanity starts creeping back up. Okay, and I did see. Where did I see it? I think it was down the side here somewhere. I saw a pond, and there was no immediate way to get to it. But I want that pond, and. To make use of it, what I want is some spider web. The spider web will allow us to make a fishing rod, amongst other things. And the fishing rod will allow us to get fish. That's a surprise. Fish will allow us to make fish sticks. And what do fish sticks make? Well, they make a decent healing item, to be honest with you, and that sounds like a fun thing to me at the moment. Right. Sorry, bunny. So, I think what we'll do is we'll explore over that way, and I think we also need to pay a visit to that uh, spider. Zoom. But what we need to do immediately, I think, is... Get ourselves some wood. And then we'll check the traps. And get ourselves something to eat. And that will probably be this day. Next day, day 12. Let's go and see if we can make ourselves a fishing rod. Probably enough wood for now. Excellent. Let's check the traps. Looks like these have been a little busy. Certainly not complaining about that. and do our collection. That trap will last one more time. That trap didn't even last that long. Okay, so... It's a good sign. It means that these traps are working and they're making us food. But like everything in this game, it wears out ridiculously fast. Okay, so set that one. Check this one. Another one that's worn out. And uh, we don't have enough grass. Okay, that gives us just enough time, I think. Let's make a trap. Set the trap and let's get over to our fire. Okay, where's my logs? There are my logs. That should keep us going through the night. 
Harvest the oldie crock pot. Oh, just in time. Okay, and let's make ourselves some more food. So a couple of them and a couple of them. Store the rest of this stuff. Cook that. we go. Oh. That one dried as we were talking. Excellent. So let's store this. And we got some more. Actually, I think to be totally honest with you, we're just going to eat that one. We we're getting a little bit low on hunger there, so those carrots in some meat let's make up some more meatballs and that that stuff should be turning to rot about about now that's good uh, don't need all the flint we've got so let's store some of that okay and we'll also store those stones, great we got them, we don't need to carry them around with us okay so we have some berry bushes to plant um, there we go let's see if we've got any berries, no not yet, okay so we want to find ourselves some ponds and we want some spider web. I don't think we'll go up there this time. I think we'll actually go down this way. Um, I think we'll visit those spiders because they're there. Uh, but in order to do that, we're going to need some grass. Why? So we can make some traps, of course. Because... Only the foolish or the foolhardy would take a spider on head to head. And while I'm both, I don't feel like doing it just now. So, let's see. Okay, oh, there's plenty of grass up there. We'll just gather it up there. There's our target. It's only a little one, so we'll probably get away with just one... Okay, we need oh we need some twigs. There we go. Brilliant. Okay, right. Let's make ourselves a trap. And let's put that down there. Come here. That's it. Come here. Excellent, right. And that's given us monster meat. That's good, but not exactly what I wanted. Let's see what we get out of this one. Uh, spider gland, that's actually excellent. But again, not exactly what I wanted. Come on. Law of averages, excellent. Okay, now, um, food, I think it is. Or is it survival? Rare trap, compass, healing cell, floor roll, umbrella, fishing rod. Okay, we need two. So, we gonna get any more out of you? Hello? Hello? No, okay. Right, so we need, well we've got one spider whip, we've got this which is absolutely great because that allows us to make up some healing items, but uh, if I remember I saw the pond down around here, so hopefully we'll find that quickly, ooh, touchstone, there you go, 
when we die it's now no longer automatically game over which is a nice thing you've got to admit okay so right let's have a look down here still need more spiders because we've only got the one spider web we need two to make a fishing rod and that will have hours to make some nice quick and easy healing items which are going to be very useful I'm not the safest and most accomplished player of this game so I need the odd healing item almost daily to be honest with you okay there's a pond that's marvellous come spring if we can find a lot of ponds together come spring I might actually relocate to uh, that location because it just gives us more food some more flowers for sanity and rot let's not anger the bees not any more than we need to at least ok let's take a quick look around here and I think we're going to head back to base now yeah, this looks like yeah, this looks like it could be a, a good area to search, but I don't think that's what we want to do right now. So let's head back. Seems to be a lot of bees around here. Alright, okay. So we found a pond and we found one web. Uh, tomorrow, which is going to be the next episode now, I think we will head out and see if we can get another piece of web and then probably go fishing and that will help us in a number of ways it'll help us heal up and it opens up another source of food for us we need to go up so okay I made a little bit of a mistake sorry about that but in general this has been a very useful run for us Okay, so we've got plenty of these to catch. These still haven't rotted. Good lord. Let's get these petals down as well to rot. There we go. Um, can we store anything in here? No, but we definitely need to start clearing snip out, don't we? Uh, right, okay, so. Store the food. another bush to put down we'll do that in the morning let's go and get these uh, these traps and we are a little bit readier we need more grass a little bit more organized and ready for oh actually I'll put that one there winter which is only eight days away now so that has got to be our biggest priority at the moment um, all in all I don't think we're doing that badly but like everything we can do do better we can still do faster um, there's some important things we haven't found yet like beefalo without beefalo we can't make farms and farms are going to be really useful for us let's get some fuel in the fire there you go that should see us through the night something to eat and let's make the next meal okay uh, what's that? Ah, actually let's eat that monster meat there we go uh, we'll finish it off with a berry and that should cook to perfection. But we'll do that next time. So until then, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been Don't Starve. Thank you. And good night.